I know what you're thinking. Where can I get that cape in blue? I know, I was thinking the exact same thing. Skadish. Uh, we're gonna crack open Time Spiral. Remastered yet again. This might be one of the last ones in a while though. We have opened so many Time Spiral products. This has, I don't know, 25, 26 boxes, no clue. Uh, cracking for the shop, Ground Zero Comics, Strongsville. Check them out, baby. Let's do this Brutus. Oh my God. The last one we did, we opened two Time Spiral, uh, or Time Shifted cards. Can we open three? Can we open one? I mean, it's, you can't always hit them. You cannot always hit them. I will tell you that. Okay. Easy peasy piles here. Hive Stone, Zilla for Cutthroat. All right. We're going to zip through this one. We are going to zip through this opening for sure. You guys got a biggest hit on one of these? What was your best hit? Did you get in on the $250 when they were selling them on Amazon? Uh, I'd like to hear it. I want to hear. I want to hear stuff. Um, do they still have these available at your LGS? Do they still have these available um, for under 350 bucks on Amazon? Crikey, mate. They just jumped in price like crazy. We got a foil. What's it going to be? Whoosh, boom. Not what we were hoping for. Oh, hot dogs. No, 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 no. We're doing it all wrong here. We did get, uh, what is that? Stonehorn Dig Dignitary. And Sarah Avenger. Sarah Avenger is not bad. It's a cool little uh, angel two drop. There's not many two drop angels. Maybe like only three in the whole game. I think. Might be wrong about that. Maybe four. Maybe. Lotus Bloom. Secret plans. Oh, we all got them, don't we? Secret plans is legit. Some of the card names I really enjoy. For instance, Two-Headed Sliver. Like, wow, who would have thought of that, you know? All right. What else we got here? Stone Cloak. And Rada. Beautiful Rada. Lingering Souls. Cool art on that. All I'm hoping for is a big time-shifted foil pool. Out of all the openings I've done, I don't think we've pulled more than a $120 time-shifted uh, foil card yet. So that speaks volume. You know, maybe even a $100. I think maybe even a hundred bucks. Yeah, for time shifted foil. And this was before um, they put those boxes on Amazon. I know the price dipped a tiny bit. I'm sure they're gonna recover though. Um, if there's another wave though, for sure they're gonna drop off. Flicker Whip. So, so far what we have, the one Living's End is our only mythic. That Lotus Bloom is legit too. Yeah, so the majority of the time shifted foils um, are, uh, are like around 25 bucks, 30 bucks, you know? Still, that's that's not bad, but if that's your your hope is to pull one of those out of one of these boxes, take it from me, opening 25, roughly, I have to go back and look. Um, whew, nice chalice of the void. Try to pull one of these in foil. Bet you can't. <laughs> no, I bet you can't. I just, I have not though, I have not. We're gonna put that up there in a cool guy pile. I have one foil so far. Are you serious? One foil. That's all we got so far? Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. We got some primal stuff going on here. We got Jora Gitu again. Uh, Teamer. And the fourth mage. Hmm. Second foil. Yeah, Chalice of the Void. Um, I, I feel just some of these are more difficult than others to, uh, to pull. But then again, Wizard said it's all the same. You have the same odds to pull this that you have to pull that. You know, so if it's a Chalice of the Void foil, Thought Seize foil, it's the same odds as if you were to pull a Mall Drifter, for example, you know? So, that's the way the cookie crumbles. But yeah, best pull. I don't think we've pulled anything too crazy out of any of this. I mean, a couple cards, like I said, are about 100 bucks, but that's it. Time of need. We're in a time of need right now. We're in a time of need for time-shifted foils. Oh, no, get off me. Get off me, dog. All right, here we go. Doing big things. Ooh, Wormy, Pognifies. Oh, yeah, that's some of this. Got you. Ooh, foil. Oh, Spyglass is cool. <sighs> Why the curl, Watsy? Why the curl? Do Pokemon cards curl like this? Can anyone verify that Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards, do they all curl up? Is it just like they're cheap... Uh, their cheap paper they're using. What is it? Manifold key. Oh, I thought we had some. And watcher for our foil. Watcher sliver away. I see silver and sliver backwards. I have to like take a moment to read it, even though I know slivers are in here. 
um, I don't know, it's like ambidextrous, no, not ambidextrous, dyslexic. Yeah, there you go. Nether, restoration. Ooh, nether's cool though. And the cutthroat. Illdale. Oh, Illdale cutthroat. That's yeah, weird, I don't know. All right, come on. Boom. Aren't you uncommons? Yep, yep, yep. And the petroglyphs, sure. Everflowing chalice. And I like what they did with that. I like the artifact look on these. They're, they're brilliant in color. Just old school. Maybe not brilliant in color, but they're, they're, they're nice in the old school. Tarmogoyf, hot dogs. There you go, yeah, you sexy little beast. Nice Tarmogoyf with the stink imp. Everyone wants a stink imp to show up. So uh, right now, a Chalice of the Void and Goyf is pretty decent. And with Modern about to return pretty big, I expect Goyf to go up in price. Um, returning to like 50 bucks pretty soon here. So there you go. Gauntlet. Oh, an Ascendant Hero Foil. Not what we wanted to see there. Okay, that's a case hit. Ouch. <laughs> that's a cool card, though. That's a cool card. He's, he's a cool man. He does things. But when it's a mythic like that, you want it to be something really crazy. Extra pay. My card used to be worse stuff. It used to be. Sorry. Gauntlet. You go up there. We forgot you were a mythic. Not a of power. All right, about halfway through this box, we are jumping right through it. One, two, three. Oh, Magus of the Moon. Uh-huh, Trinket Mage, nothing. It's all about that time shifting, man. I swear, this is like buying lottery tickets or like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, like Willy Wonka. This is a perfect example of that. You're looking for that uh, that chocolate bar, which has the golden ticket in it, you know? And uh, there's not many of them out there. The, the good thing is, if you buy a box, you know, there's a chance you can you can pull one just in the one box. But I've opened four boxes now, maybe five, without hitting uh, a time-shifted foil. So that does happen, swallowing you whole with that big old mouth. Oh, wow. Grrrr, jangler, beautiful, baby. That is freaking beautiful. We will take that all freaking day long. Stay strong. Put this over here. Put this up here. All right, all right, all right. Um, you're going in the, the sleeved pile. Hold up. $49 and climbing. Beautiful card. All right, so we have pulled a hit there. We have pulled a hit. And that's a common. Didn't that set come out like around Journey into Nyx or NYX, whatever you call it? I want to say it was like around that set. Maybe it was that set. Teferi Mage of Zylifer with Pan Harmonicon. Cool pack there. You go in the Mythic pile. We're doing okay. Chalice of the Void was printed in Mythic before, wasn't it? I know it came out as rare, but wasn't it printed in Mythic at some point? I thought it was. Boom, boom, boom. Mary the Accused. Nothing more. See? Bedlam Reveler. That card at one point was 20 cents. 15 cents. And then it jumped up to like 7, 8 bucks when it won a tournament out of nowhere. Uh, and I think it settled back down. It definitely dropped down a bit. But card advantage it does mean things. We got a foil. Walk. Silence. Ah, violent identity. Okay, okay, okay. Whatever. Veal Parmesan. I could go for some of that. Oh, man, if anyone wants to send me Veal Parmesan, I could certainly use some of that goodness. Uh, we got Scribe, Path, Storm. Uh-huh. Corondor. Abrupt Decay. Abrupt Decay's good. You get Abrupt Decay in foil. It's probably 100 bucks now. I was, uh, I think it might be. It might be. 80 to 100, I would guess. Something around there. Ooh, we got something shiny for you kids in the back. There we go. Fun little toy to play. Here come Two Stalker. Oh, it's not what we thought, though. Past in Flames. And the old Germinator. Rup. Okay. Wow, we, def we definitely went through this pretty quick. We def went through it quick. Boom, two, boom. Oh, Sliver Legion showing up. Gorgeous, baby. Mm. That is what dreams are made of right there. The old Sliver Legion. If you pull that just out of a regular, like you buy one pack and you pull that, a call it a day, we are happy. You know? And Sliver Legion will go up as well. They're probably not going to reprint Sliver Legion for a long time. I'd say like years, if, if you ask me. Possibility. Yeah, probably. All right, bam. And we got Tombstalker. Remand. A remand foil would be cool, too. A ponder foil um, would rule them all. One ring to rule them all. Okay. Anybody? All right. Uh, rebuff, Molten, Riptide, Sudden, and Ninja of Deep Hours. There you go. Okay. 
down to about six. What are we gonna get? Shrink, boom. One, two, three. Draining Welk. Kiki Jiki, baby. Pulling the Kiki Jiki, y'all up in All right, another hit. Box prices on these, I'm not sure. I don't know if, I don't know how much uh, Ground Zero sells them for. I haven't purchased one for a while from them, so. But um, I think they're floating around like 320, I think, right now. I might be wrong. Lava Spike. Oh, Cloud Shredder Sliver. All right. Well, we're going to look that puppy up right now. About 32 crisp -a-roos, roughly. Give or take a few. Uh-huh. Very nice. Minty fresh card. Hot dogs. Hot diggity dogs. Uh, a box right now. TCG player is $2.92.20. Get your hands on a box. Um, that's the market uh, price average. So, I mean, it could swing, I'm sure. A few bucks up, a few bucks down. So, there we go. West. Solemn boy. Two-headed sliver. Hot dogs. We won't. One more. Can we get one more? Oh my god. Two is good. I can't. I'm happy with two, but we've only had, I think, one box where I opened three. Uh, and that was just insanity. One, two, three. Glittering Wish. As Orioles. All right, down to two packs, baby. Wow, that was very quick. Amazing that I can open up a box in like less than 12, 13 minutes. That is pretty nuts. Boom. One, two, three. Pumpkin Slaughter Packed. Arcades. Last to crack, Jack. What do we got? Last pack to crack. One more. Come on. Let's go. I don't think we got anything. I think we already spoiled it right there at the beginning. Yeah, that's probably what happened there. Okay. Pack to the Titan and Ancient Stirrings. Yeah, I've seen that. Uh, that's all she wrote, guys. Appreciate you tuning in. Enjoy Monster Battle Gaming. Oh, um, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And check out the other ones as well. Here and here. Skadoosh.